Greetings, you sinister little incubus and succubus. In case you don't know what that is, an incubus is a male sexual demon seducing women while they sleep. The female form of that demon is called a succubus. Seducing and ravaging men sexually in all manner of speak. <laughs> I have many books to show you, and a few other things as well. So, you remember in my last video, I was showing you this copy of Jungle Action number one. Pre Marvel Atlas from 1954 um, with a Joe Manley cover. I don't think I mentioned the fact that the colors here were, were by Stan Goldberg. The same Stan Goldberg that later on would have a great deal of difficulty coloring the Hulk. Stan Lee originally wanted the Hulk colored gray, a neutral color. And uh, Stan Lee was having, I mean uh, Stan Goldberg was having so many problems attempting to get the right colors and it kept changing different shades of gray and at one point it even looked sort of grayish green. So Stan Lee ultimately told Stan Goldberg just color him green. And that's what happened. But Stan Goldberg did the colors for this. And speaking of Joe Manley you know, Joe Manley, who died tragically from stepping off a moving train in between cars, he uh, was also creator of the Black Knight, another great Atlas comic. This is the Black Knight from 1955. I think the story is by Stan Lee and the uh, artwork including the cover is Joe Manley. This is Black Knight number one. He supposedly created the Black Knight. He's credited with creating the Black Knight. This is uh, Black Knight number three I don't think I have number two, or if I do, I can't find it, but this is the third issue. And they're both from 1955. Now, Joe Manley, excuse me while I have some tea. Joe Manley, although credited with creating the Black Knight in 1955, I think very, uh, very loosely borrowed the idea from Toby Press, who had the Black Knight number one. 1953. Here's the Black Knight from Atlas. 1955, supposedly Black Knight created by Joe Manley. As you can see, 
the similarities and not only the font but the shield so not to spill speak ill of Joe Manley but believe me I love Joe Manley's artwork even though he was a, a good man uh, died tragically too young but the circumstances to me are somewhat mysterious but again Toby Press 1953 Atlas 1955. Toby came first. So, I don't think he really truly created the Black Knight character. Not with the existence of the Toby Press Black Knight number one, as I just showed you. <laughs> Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I have some different books to show you in different piles, and I don't know if I should go ahead and show you this pile or that pile. <sighs> Silly twit. Let's see here. What pile? Um, I think I'll just go ahead and show you this. I think I did show this before, though. This is uh, the fight against crime, horror, and suspense. Number sixteen. Look at that beautiful cover. You have a woman. Look, look at the uh, script and the word balloons on the cover. So long, stupid. This fire will get rid of your body and I'll be free. That's what you think, sis. Ah, uh, well, he says girly, but that's what you think, sister. You're gonna die, too. <laughs> The woman in red. Lighting the guy on fire. Ah. Ah, such beauty, such grace. <laughs> mm. Mm. You know? Before I show you the next one, and I did show this last year, but it's always worth showing again. I think I'm gonna have a little bit of the homebrew. I got this from our own cellar. into a glass clear crystal glass and colored hand blown purple glass made in a glass factory all the way in Romania oops let me get that made in China sticker off of there as I said imported all the way from Romania Much better than tea. This is a very interesting book. It contains Matt Baker artwork. It's a feral publication. 
it's the voodoo annual and it was only there was only one and it's 100 pages just a beauty and very very difficult to find in any grade this is a lower grade uh, it's got tape on the spine. Maybe I should take it out. It does have Matt Baker artwork in it, and I really wanted it more for that reason, because I love Matt Baker. Let's see. He also died very, very young indeed. When did he die? He was 37 years old, and he died in 19... 58 or 59? I don't remember. I think 1959. But let me take it out of the glary bag. The glary bag. See if I can find. Oh, here it is. This is the Matt Baker story. Take out my micro micro chamber paper. Here's the splash splash page of that story Matt Baker art beautiful I wish it would focus so you can see some of the script but it's not to be not to be. Now, uh, Matt Baker, he had a flair for painting a beautiful, painting the beautiful, already beautiful female form. Show you some examples of that here. Matt Baker is credited with creating the art of glamour. And uh, if he wasn't the creator of glamour, he certainly perfected it. That's for certainty. And he brought it into the mainstream, the art of glamour. Just beautiful women of all skin colors. Beautiful artwork by Matt Baker. I'm not sure who did the cover of this. Another story in here is the werewolf. Skeletons have secrets. Of great stories, 100 pages for 25 cents. Here's the first story that graces the book A Coffin Waits. <laughs> Bear with me while I replace the micro chamber paper which you can buy online. And it is certainly a good idea to put microchamber paper in your valuable co old comics because it soaks up contaminants. Not only that, it keeps your book lasting a lot longer. Outlive you. Outlive me. Well, I don't know if anyone can outlive me because I keep being reborn. Voodoo Annual Number One from 1952. The year I was born. 
1952. Oh, I gave away my secret. Oh well. The year I was born, 1952. In the cold month of January was a deep, dark January night. Near midnight. Here is another great giant. A Dell giant this time. Tales from the Tomb. Ten years later from 1962. <laughs> Nightmare stories of ghosts, ghouls, and other grisly things. You'll see the vampire on the front is a very very similar to uh, Nasferatu. In fact, I think this might even be a homage to the great film, the German film, Nasferatu. Ooh. Now, uh, what else am I going to do here? I have to make notes because, uh, like Ray Rayner always had notes, post-its, pre-post, it's all over his hat, his clothes, he would always forget everything, he would, hmm, let's see, what else do I have here, oh, Well, I do. Now, a couple of new ones I want to show you. I don't want to make the video too long because I have more videos to upload. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Um, no, let me show you this one first. The Cursed Comics hell of a cage <laughs> with just a beautiful Batman cover. Someone had told me about this uh, book. I forget who it is now that mentioned this book to me, but I did have it on my pull list and didn't even realize it from my comic shop. And then I ordered it again. So now I got two in here and one here. Three copies. But that's quite all right, because this is just the first in a series. Number one. The first story is a uh, swamp thing. Beautiful, beautiful artwork in the first story. Um, Kyle Holtz is the artist. story with Batman and uh, who's uh, 
Uh, wait, let me show you here. The Gore Hound. The Shape Shifter. I do believe. And, uh... That's what I think. I'm not exactly sure. Too much blood in the glass. Oh, and a great Wonder Woman story in here, too. Oh, that was a good tale. I did like that. And that was the last one that I've actually, actually read. But uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful artwork. And... Uh, all the stories are really, really good. Well worth the money. And uh, I don't want to tell too much about the book. I don't want to spoil anything, but suffice it to say, $9.95 may seem a bit steep for 80 pages. $9.99 actually, it says down here. But it's well worth it. It's all new material, beautiful artwork. Stories are well written. And well worth it to pick it up. The Curse Comics Calibacade. <laughs> now the next one that I have to show you. That's a modern book. Is the Walmart 100 page exclusive Swamp Thing Halloween Horror Monsters Mayhem and Trick or Treat Madness? If you're lucky enough to be able to find this at Walmart, pick it up because. My experience has been that there are people out there that are just hoarding this to sell on eBay for two, three times, even four times the amount of the original cover price, defeating the purpose of what it was intended to do, attract new readers. Now, when I, I had a go to four different Walmarts in order to find this. The fourth Walmart, I was lucky because they, they had just put the book out. I mean, they are too late. And I went in there and I hear these two guys, they were uh, walking in there as I was going in to the store. And they uh, were heading towards a toy section to pick up some swamp thing. Uh, a new swamp thing action figure or what it was. It was obviously connected to the to the book I think and um, the one guy tells his friend to uh, pick up get all those swamp things over there and he said well no let's go get the uh, get the uh, to uh, the action figures first that's what it was action for swamp thing action figures first so they went over there and as I heard this I used the powers that I had to get there as fast as I could to where they had all these 100 pagers and yes there were like 15 of these left and I thought to myself am I gonna let these guys 
hoard these books and then go on eBay and sell them for fifteen dollars twenty dollars no so I hoarded them instead <laughs> but not for the same reason that they did in fact I'm going to be giving some of these away in my next video I'll work out the details and uh, along with that uh, giveaway you see this back page advertisement would make a beautiful poster would it not uh, it already is a poster and <laughs> Here. Along with that Swamp Thing book that I'll be giving away, we'll also get this. The poster. thing that I ask is that well I'll give the details in the next uh, video but my main purpose in giving that away is for those that couldn't get a copy so how come you didn't say anything this time cool A little bit late on that one, Henry. Because I just did. Dang, stupid bird. Well, there you have it for today. Um, I'll be uploading some more videos. Oh. Some CD of uh, I picked up. Modest Mouse. Float on. And uh, I'm gonna have to do a vlog. A blood vlog. Vlog the Impaler. And uh, this hoarding of that. Uh, those 100 pagers, you know. Some Walmarts still have, uh, that I went to, still have some of the uh, number twos of Batman and Superman. But the third uh, issues are already out. All the third ones, the Teen Titans and uh, Justice League, uh, Superman and Batman. But Swamp Thing was just being ridiculously hoarded. I seen one individual on eBay said uh, 14 copies sold, only two left or something like that, and he was selling them for $15, uh, shipping included. Um, so I don't know, 14 sold. You, that, obviously the guy, <laughs> that guy just ordered them just took them all off the shelf and the only reason I did it was so that I can give some of these away I didn't want those guys to be on eBay selling them like that and they probably are gonna do the same thing with this swamp thing action figure who knows a curse upon those little fellows those creeps, those finks with stripe of yellow. So until the next time, you inky bus and you sucky bus.
Enjoy your evening. And I will see you soon.